frequency and period. Whether it is a pendulum on a clock, a satellite going around a planet, or the oscillations in an electromagnetic wave, all motions that regularly repeat themselves will have a period and a frequency. The period is the length of time it takes for one complete cycle to happen. This could be the time between wave crests for a water wave, or the time it takes a satellite to complete one orbit of the Earth. Because the period tells how long something takes, it has the units of time. For example, seconds, minutes, or hours. Frequency, on the other hand, is how often the cycle repeats itself. For a water wave with a crest and a trough, the frequency is the rate or how many times per second a crest goes by. Because frequency is a rate, the units of frequency are per second. You often see this unit written as 1 over s or s to the minus 1, both of which mean per second. Frequency, given in units of per second, is so common that it gets a special name, Hertz, which is abbreviated HZ. All these units for frequency are interchangeable. Frequency and period are related. In fact, they are reciprocals of each other. In other words, if you know the frequency of something, you can get the period by just taking 1 divided by the frequency. Likewise, if you know the period, you can get the frequency from 1 divided by the period. Let's do an example converting frequency to period of an electromagnetic wave that is part of the visible spectrum. A red spectral line of a hydrogen atom has a frequency of 4.57 times 10 to the 14 hertz. To get the period of this wave, the time between wave peaks, you take the reciprocal of the frequency. The reciprocal of 4.57 times 10 to the 14 is 2.19 times 10 to the negative 15. Since a hertz is, by definition, per second, or 1 over seconds, the reciprocal of hertz is just seconds. So the period of this wave is 2.19 times 10 to the minus 15 seconds.